Whenever I need to serve a model to hundreds of users with low latency, SGLang is one of the choices I opt for. SGLang is a high performance inference engine designed specifically for high throughput, low latency inference of large language models and vision language models. Recently, they have overcome a huge limitation. They have now integration which allows SGLang to be used with hugging face transformers as a backend. And believe me, from the real world trenches, I can tell you that this is a huge, huge feature which they have implemented. And one of the reasons why I say that is because a lot of models which I wanted to implement in the production with the SGLang with low latency was not possible earlier simply because transformer was not being used as a backend. So in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to install SGLang on our local system. I will show you how you can use it with the transformer based models with this new integration. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are hearing about SGLang, I would highly suggest that you just go to my channel, search with SGL and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. For example, I started covering it more than a year ago when it was very new and since then it has improved a lot. SGLang, as I said, is a very high powered inference engine for LLMs. It is optimized for production environments where inference performance is mission critical. It also features technologies like Radix Attention, which is quite a memory efficient attention mechanism. Now with the new feature of Transformers integration, now SGLang can be used with Hugging Face Transformer as a backend which means you can run any transformer compatible model through SGLang's optimized inference engine, which means now thousands and thousands of models. SGLang automatically falls back to transformers when a model isn't natively supported and you get the flexibility of the transformer ecosystem with the performance benefits of SGLang. And as I said, you can have now instant access to new models and custom models from Hugging Face Hub without waiting for native SGLang support. So let's get started. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM while it creates this uh, virtual environment. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. I'm going, um, I'm sure that you are going to like them as I have been using them for quite some time. So my virtual environment is done. Let's git clone the repo of SGLang. That is done and I will also drop the link to it in video description so that you can check it out. Next up, we need to install SGLang. I am just going to inst install it from the source so that it installs the latest version which supports this Transformers integration. Okay, so it says that it doesn't support that pip at the moment because it. I think it has a a normal uh, file maybe so maybe what i'm going to do here i'm just going to use this uv here then so i'm just going to use uv for this because it seems the latest version is compatible with uv which is a modern python package manager and for that similar command but with uv and you can see that it is installing everything uh, which is required and it is quite lightweight so let's wait while that does that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with application in data generation, task automation and world simulation and you will also find their link in video's description. And everything is now installed. Let's clear the screen. You can also verify the version of SGLang by running this command and you can see that we are using the latest version here. Okay, now let me show you how you can use SGLang. I am currently in the SGLang repo in VS Code and I have just created this simple code app.py where first I'm initializing this model. 
after importing stlang and you see that i am explicitly specifying the backend as transformer with the implementation if you skip this which is which you can do if it can't find this model within stlang's native support it will fall back to transformers automatically and that is a great thing and then you can specify whatever prompts you want these are some of the hyper parameters to control the output and then we are printing the output back so this is an offline inference we are not serving any um, model yet through the stlang so you can do it in both ways so let me run this first so i'm just going to go here and the first time when you run it it is going to download the model and it is just a small model for the testing purposes and there you go the model is downloaded and then it has generated the answer for all the three prompts as you can see so you don't really have to worry about any of the implementation of the model in this case how good is that and it was quite fast too okay so let's check out another example okay so now let's do the real magic where we will use this command to serve this model uh, on our local system with the transformer backend at port 30,000. it is going to initialize stlang it is going to load the model and will serve it on our local system so it is loading the model checking all the architecture of the model and then it is checking what backend is being used model is being downloaded it is doing the batches and this is actually quite important thing to note down here you see it has captured CUDA graphs and it has also done the batches and you can see that now the server is all fired up and ready to roll now let me first show you how we can use this server and then i will describe this CUDA graph thingy which is quite important in my humble opinion so i'm just going to run the same script here which is going to use this endpoint which is uh, on the server and you see how quick that was it was instantaneous here and this is what i have used here and this is the local host where i have sent it the request that's all i have done that's it now coming back to this CUDA graph thing because i think as an ai engineer you should be aware of this and this is where i believe it is doing all of this magic so in very simple words CUDA graphs is a performance optimization that pre-compiles and caches the entire sequence of gpu operations for different batch sizes instead of launching individual gpu kernel one by one during inference which has of course overhead CUDA graphs capture the complete computational workflow once and replay it as a single optimized unit so that eliminates kernel launch overhead and significantly speeds up the inference which you just saw especially for smaller models and batch sizes the capturing batches which you uh, are checking here this one this primarily means sglang pre-built these optimized execution paths for batch sizes 1 to 4 8 16 up to 160 so when uh, once you send one prompt or eight prompts or whatever simultaneously it uses a pre-optimized graph for maximum speed and you saw it firsthand when we did this inference how good is that now uh, there are a lot of other things which you can do um, in terms of its you know vram consumption and a lot of other optimization that primarily is geared towards um, low latency high throughput inference engine but i think uh, one of the really really good thing which has happened is this transformer support so really kudos to sgl team and also to hugging face team for doing this that's it let me know what you think please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching